welcome back everyone i hope you guys are all doing well there have been a few changes so make sure you go and follow my new ig name which is at kit heidi for more skin tips in the future today we're going to do a facial at home like a pro i am a professional so this is the steps that i would do if i was doing my own facial at home and everything you see here you can buy on your own um, and here is the lineup some are really really affordable and there's might be one or two that are expensive but there are alternatives i will put up in the video so let's go ahead and start steaming our face. Remember, no more than five minutes. We're gonna cleanse with the Low pH Good Morning Cleanser by CauseRx. This is one of my favorite cleansers and it is very affordable and it's great if you have acne prone skin. And just gonna go ahead and deep cleanse. I have a little cut on my face. I don't know how that got there, but I felt the little tingle, but not too bad. And you wanna go ahead and take your time with that cleanse. While the skin is still wet, we're gonna go in with our ultrasonic skin scrubber. This tool is amazing if you are um, having congested skin or you just need to exfoliate dead skin cells. Um, I would recommend this too if you're not good at doing extractions. This will gradually just declog your pores over time and then you'll prevent some scarring on your skin, which I wish I would have had back in the day before I went to school for all of this stuff. I would have avoided a lot of scarring on my skin, but oh well. If you wanted to see how my progress is doing with my microneedling, I will be posting another video on that. So. Click the link above for the first video if you're interested in doing some microneedling. And we're going to go ahead and get in the nose here, the chin. I don't have much to extract, but you can see kind of the gunk that's in there. And this product, this tool actually really works. I really enjoy it, using it, and it really helps keep my skin nice and smooth. So after we rinse that off, we're going to use the lotion P50 by Biologic Research. This is a pretty pricey product. I will put an alternative right here in this screen that you could use. This has AHAs and BHAs, which are exfoliating and brightening properties. You can see it is a hefty price tag, but it is a great product and one that I've bought over and over again. So you can see I'm just going to put a little here and swipe it on my face. And this is an exfoliant, okay? So it will tingle at first, but it does brighten and lighten. I haven't been using it lately because I've been going to the beach and I'm just trying to avoid any hyperpigmentation, which if you're using products that are um, of high quality and have AHAs and BHAs, you want to use sunscreen. Now let's go in with our serum. I like the Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc. This is just a couple ingredients, but it is awesome if you have acne prone skin or congestion and it's a pretty affordable product and I really like it. And it's good for most skin types too. I haven't seen anybody who's allergic to this. So I might be wrong. Always test it out. I did put a little bit too much, but that's okay. I'm just going to massage that into my skin. And remember, if you have active acne, don't massage, just apply. Okay? So we're going to go in with a mask. Once that's absorbed, don't worry about it. Washing off, it will absorb into your skin. Serums, that's their job. This is just a honey mask by Tony Molly, and it's very hydrating and soothing. So I have kind of dry skin and some eczema, especially on my neck, and I'm going to just apply this everywhere. Um, and I'm going to let that sit for up to 10 minutes. And you can do a little less if you feel like it, if you don't feel like waiting that long. But rule of thumb, 8 to 10 minutes is kind of how you want to do your mask. No longer than that. Okay, everybody? No longer than 10 minutes for your mask. A little scalp massage there. And I'm already looking nice and bright. I'm feeling good. And I'm going to go ahead and just rinse that off with water, not cleanser. Okay, rinse your mask off with just water. And that one is a sticky one. But, so let's go on to the moisturizer. I'm using the Yung Kang Yul. Hopefully I am pronouncing that correctly. Estheticians don't really like uh, containers without a pump. So I like this though because it has a spatula and it helps prevent cross-contamination. And it's a very good moisturizer, I must say. Especially if I have, I have drier skin, especially some eczema. And I really like it. I'm just going to work this in and massage it. And I even get close to under my eyes so that I don't have to apply eye cream. I'm just kind of lazy tonight. But eye cream is an optional step as well. I'm going to brush my eyebrows with some black castor oil. A friend made it for me. So I'm just testing it out. And some lip mask that I want to go to bed in. And I'm looking nice and bright. I do have some scarring here, and if you haven't checked out my microneedling video, make sure you go ahead and do that. I will be posting another one. Now, I don't like going to bed with wet hair. It makes my hair break, so let's do a quick blow dry here. Nothing too fancy. And make sure you check out my skin tips at the very end in case you forgot. 
and you can refer back to it okay so just some Heidi skincare tips I am a professional so please keep this in mind I do this for take care of your skin bye